Okay, for this project, I'm just using regular Red Heart Super Saver. Worsted away, four ply acrylic. You can use any kind of scrap yarn that you have, though. And I'm going to be using a size H. It's a five millimeter crochet hook. And you can kind of see about how big it's going to be. A little bit smaller than my hand. Okay. It's going to be quick and easy. So you want to start out with the slip knot. And then I'm going to start out with a chain of four. And I'm going to slip stitch into the first stitch to form a ring. If you want to start with a magic circle, you can do that too. I'm going to chain one. I'm going to go back into the ring and do 12 double crochets through the center of the ring. over. Ten, <clears throat> eleven, and there's twelve. Now I'm going to slip stitch into my first one to close this round off. Slip stitch. Now you can usually pull your tail here and it'll make that center circle close up. A little tight. Okay, and I'm going to start again by chaining one. I'm going to go back into the same stitch right here that I just slip stitched into and do two double crochets. One, two. Now I'm going to work my way around putting two double crochets in every stitch just to make my circle a little bigger. Oops, I put three in that one. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> Two in every stitch. And when you get back around to the beginning, you should have a total of 24 stitches. Okay, once you make it back around, after doing two double crochets in every stitch, again we're going to slip stitch into our first double crochet, and that will close that round off, like that. Now what we'll, we'll do is head real quick, and we're going to do that by chaining one, and we're going to go back into the same stitch and put four double crochets in the same stitch that we just slip stitched into. So there's one. Two, three, and four, all in that same stitch. Now we're going to go to the next stitch and we're going to put three double crochets in the next stitch. One, two, and three. So it was four in the first three in the next. Now we'll go ahead and make his ears real quick. We're going to do a chain of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're going to single crochet in the second stitch from the hook or of this chain. Like that. And now we're going to do a half double crochet in the next stitch. a half double crochet in the next stitch, a 
half double crochet in the next stitch. So that's three half doubles in a row. And then you can see we have one more here. We're going to single crochet in it. And then I'm going to do one more single crochet right here at the top. And it's right there through those two loops on that stitch. You see? I'm just going to single crochet. Now I'm going to chain six again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Second stitch from the hook, I'm going to single crochet. And I'm going to put a half double in each of the next three stitches, just like the other one. One half double, the next stitch, half double, next stitch, half double. And now I'm going to put single crochet right here in the last stitch. And then again, I'm going to put a single crochet at the top of this stitch right here through, it's kind of at the side of it, through that loop and then that loop. Single crochet and now I'm going to lock it. Now I'm going to lock it all down by, see here's our last double crochet that we did. I'm going to slip stitch two times in the side of it. So one here and one here. So I'm just going to grab a loop on the side, slip stitch, and then I'm going to go down a little bit on the same stitch, grab one loop, slip stitch, and then I'm going to come down here to the next stitch. Here's where we put the three doubles. I'm going to go to this one, and I'm going to slip stitch, slip it, like that. Like that. Now I'm just going to clip this off. Oh, I dropped him on the floor. Sorry about that. But I'm just going to go ahead and tie that off. And you can hide the tail to it. Now I'm going to come down and put a tail on him. Now I'm going to put his tail on, starting in, here's where we last slip stitched, so counting this one as number one, I'm going to count over eight stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and that's one I'm going to start in. And I'm going to start by chaining one. Now I'm going to put all these stitches in the same stitch. I'm going to put a single crochet, a half double crochet, a double crochet. These are all going in the same stitch. And then I'm going to do a half double crochet and a single crochet. So that stitch got a single, half double, double, half double, single. And I'm going to go to the next stitch and slip stitch. And I'm going to tie that off. tail. So now I'm going to go through and um, hide all these tails real quick. Okay, you can be done if you want now, but I'm just going to sew on an eye and a nose with my yarn needle and some thread. Just the side where you want it. I'm going to go from the underneath and just do a couple little bitty or maybe just one little bitty thing like that. And then I will hide these tails in the back. You can do it a couple times if you want, but you can also buy little googly eyes if you want, but I think this works just as good. It's real easy. Okay, once you get the little tails hidden on the eye, 
chop it off. And then I'm going to do the ear and the nose. I got some pink here. Kind of going to do maybe the same kind of thing with the nose. You just kind of decide where you want to put it. Little bitty thing there over the nose. And leave the tail in the back just like I did before. For the ear, I kind of just went in the center of it with some thread. It's, you don't even have to do this, but I just took some some yarn on and just started going down kind of embroidering it. I'm not very good at embroidering stuff so all the way down inside of the ear and remember you don't have to even put a face on it I'm just doing it for fun So I'm just going down my ear one little stitch at a time until I get down to the bottom of it. Okay, I've finished both ears, and that's it. That's all there is to it. Now you can sew it on anything that you want to sew it on. I think it turned out pretty cute. So, uh, please don't forget to check out all my other tutorials, too, and subscribe to my channel. I try to put videos, videos out all the time. Uh, don't forget to check me out on Facebook, too, and you can post all your crochet items on there. I'd really like to see everything. And until next time, have a good day.